Hi guys, I'm Alex. Welcome to my shave. Uh, today we're going to just get right into it. Uh, we're going to try something like a little experiment today. I'm going to try this uh, Taylor Old Bond Street. It's the, the lime zest. If you remember the last time I used it, I did a little review on it. And uh, it didn't quite have a lot of zesty smell to it or lemony like I wanted it or lime. So what I decided to do today is experiment. I went and took one of my wife's lemons, it's dripping, and I took the zest off with her little zester thing that she's got, and I put that in a little cup, it's in there, you see it, it's just lemon and the zest, and I squeezed it through a, a Scott towel so I get all the bumps and lumps out of there, so just the juice and smells lemony so what I'm going to do is put this lemon juice and the the zest of the lemon in the lather when I mix it up so let's get going and put our pre-shave on right now the pre-shave is going to be of course our parasol because it's green and I'm going with the green thing today after shave is going to be Parasso green again. The closest thing to a green brush I got is my uh, Zaki, not Zaki, Yaki, Yaki. <laughs> I can't remember. Yaki, I guess you call it. I forgot. And uh, it's the the uh, silver tip badger. And then we've got our Nivea. So after you do the shave, we put the Nivea on. The razor blade and the razor. First, the razor blade is going to be the 7 o'clock from Russia. And we did a review on that. And the razor itself is going to be the uh, Merker uh, 89. And we're going to be using that. That's made in Germany. Beautiful razor. Okay, we got that done, and I and I have the the blade already in the uh, in the razor. So I'm going to put on a little bit of water here, and we're going to warm up our water. Put it on that little spoon. We're going to soak our brush a little bit. That'll work. Now we're going to take our... You just have a very light smell or the scent of uh, lemon or wine. We're going to take some of this, smash it on the bottom. Okay. Put up a little more. See it all in there? Mostly on my fingers. <laughs> okay, it's in there. I just get my water warm. I forgot to warm the water, and the brush is being nice and warm too. Right, hang on one second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Here we go. We've got the shaving soap in there. Now we're going to take our invention here of the lemon juice and the zest. And I'm just going to pour that in there. And we'll see what happens. This is an experiment. Okay. We've got our brush. It's a little wet. And let's see what happens here. Here we go. Well, I can smell it. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Might need a little more water. Come on, let's see what we got.
just looks like it's a little wet. Might have to put a little more soap in there. Let's put a little more soap in there. Let's do that. A little light on the soap. Okay, maybe I should have done this before. Okay. Okay. Starting to come up there. Never know, maybe that lemon juice is slowing the, the process of the foaming of the soap. This experiment, this is trial and error. So far I see a lot of error. Starting to get there a little bit. I'm not getting a very heavy soap. I wonder if that lemon juice didn't really cut, up, cut down on the... Well, I'm gonna have to do this, put a little more soap in there because I'm not happy with the volume. Well, that's more soap than I've used. So maybe, <laughs> maybe this experiment is showing us not to use lemon in there. But let's try it again. We'll see. Yeah, I put more soap in there now. And she's starting to come to life. There you go. Maybe that lemon juice kind of slowed down the process a little bit. We'll just kind of Keep going here. Try to get that going. Well, I think we got enough now. That looks pretty good. Okay. Let me wash over the hands real quick. And we'll put on our pre-shave. The Parasso Green pre-shave. There it is. Now that is very strong. The menthol in that is very strong. You can really smell that. Wow. Actually makes my eyes water. Okay. Wipe my hands off. Wipe my razor, my razor off because I got soap all over it. I'm going to put a little alum on my hand so I can use, hold this brush. Okay, here goes our experiment, boys. Putting it on. I smell a little bit of a scent in there. Wonder how that's gonna feel. Wonder if it's gonna make me go like this. Too sour. Sour. <laughs> Very sour. Sour. That's the word. Sour. This is going on nice. But again, it needed a little more water and I think that lemon juice kind of slow it down but it's plenty good now okay we're done with that we're gonna take this off put a little alum on my hands we're good to go 
Okay, guys, here we go. Take some of this stuff off my neck. Too much. Here we go, guys. With the grain, let's cut some hair. This is the seven o'clock from Russia, the razor blade. This will be the third time I use it. I don't know if I'm going to get any more out of it. We'll find out after the day. Seems to be cutting nicely. Hope you guys are doing good out there. A beautiful Saturday here. The 12th, August the 12th, on a Saturday up here in Northern California. It's in the 80s up here. No, I'm not in San Francisco. I'm about 30 miles east of San Francisco. We're what they call East Bay. Because in San Francisco, it's like overcast all the time, mainly. But down here in the East Bay, which is like the valley, it's hot. A friend of mine lives in Sausalito. He says he doesn't have a summer. All he sees is fog. Sausalito is right across the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. That's round one. Let's go for round two. Well, I'll tell you something. My face feels kind of cold, like a little refreshed. That's not a bad feeling. I kind of like it. Maybe that lemon zest kind of done something. Okay. Let's go across the grain. It's a malum on my hands. But I don't drop the razor. Okay, guys, we're going across the grain. Here we go. You notice I got a haircut. She cut me a little short. It came out good. Feels good. Okay, here we go. That's pretty good. Okay, here we go for number three. Going uphill now. Wow, that really feels kind of cold on my face. Wow. I don't remember experiencing this the first time I used this stuff. This uh, lime zest. Feeling that coldness on before. But it sure is refreshing now, I tell you that. Okay, guys, let's go upstairs. Here we go, going up. This is the best part right here. That's what you wait for. That's side one. Let's go for side two.
I can hear it cutting those short little hairs. Oh, I got a, I got a text from uh, one of the one of my viewers. And guess where it came from? Came from uh, from Venice, Italy. And because uh, I was talking so much about the Parasso, he says we're glad you like our product. I said I'm glad you make such a good product. That was pretty neat getting a text from them. Well, that's great. I love it. Okay, let me uh, shut this off for a minute. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're in business. Here we go. Well, I did a... I gotta tell you, when I rinsed my face off with warm water, and then I shut the warm water off and let the water get cold, then I rinsed off again with cold water, really makes your face feel refreshed. You guys should try that. It's really... It opens up the pores and... When you put all your aftershave and everything, it really gets in there and you get a little bit of a burn. Feels good. Feels really good that after you're through, it's like, like I had a facial. It's really nice. But I'll tell you the truth, I don't remember this shaving cream or shaving soap making my feel, my face, my feel, my face feel so fresh. Maybe the lemon had something to do with it. The lemon juice and, and the zest. But we'll get back into that in a few minutes. Let's finish up our thing here, then we'll talk. Okay. Okay. Mr. Green, Russell. Okay. That's got a good smell to it. <clears throat> or should I say a scent? I keep saying <laughs> odor. Not an odor. It's a scent. Okay. Here goes our, our Nivea. Don't forget to get that. You guys will not regret it. Gotta keep your ears happy too. Okay. That feels good. Very good. Okay. Okay, let's see. We're all done. Shave is good. Came out great. I couldn't find my other glasses. I must have left them somewhere downstairs. Oops. Got out my water on it. So I'm wearing my older glasses that I haven't worn for a while, but they do the same job. A little different, I'm not used to the skinny little frames. Okay, here we go. Recap on our shave today. Very good. Did the lemon inside here with the lemon juice and the zest. Took a little time to get the lander going this time. Maybe I should have put a little more soap. And that's what I gotta do. I gotta put more soap when you you do this. But it's something different. Feels fresh. Great stuff. <clears throat> Great razor. This is the uh, Merker 89. Made in Germany. Closed comb. I got the seven o'clock uh, Gillette razor blade in there. From Russia. This is our our Zaki. Uh, I didn't wash it. This is our Zaki. Just 24 because that's how big the knot is. 24. And our Zaki uh, silver tip. Very good brush. I mean, very. I like it very much. Okay. Now that was good. Everything was good. Came out good. 
when you go upstairs like that, the best. You guys will love it. It's great. Anyways, that's our shave. Thank you guys for coming in for that. I do have a couple of quotes for you guys today before we close out the show. Oh, God, we're 20 minutes already. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Our first quote of the day. I got to see through these glasses. This is interesting. It's an interesting little quote. Tell me and I'll forget. Teach me and I will remember. Involve me and I will learn. That's a good one. Tell me and I will forget. Teach me and I will remember. Involve me and I will learn. It's all about Benjamin Franklin said that. How you like that one? I like it a lot. Thanks for asking. Next one. I got another one for you. This is a good one. All about life. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know who said this. Let me say it again. Sink in. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Babe Ruth said that. That's a fact of life. Not just a game, but then again, life is a game. Get in the game. Do what you got to do. Get out there. Don't be afraid. Believe me, I've been afraid all my life. Oh, I can't do that. I might lose some money. Oh, I can't do that. This, that. Big deal. Do it. Maybe you'll be a billionaire. Whatever. That's what it's all about. Babe Ruth said that. Benjamin Franklin said that. I hope you guys remember those little quotes. If you guys like what you heard, please subscribe. Like what you're seeing. Give me a thumbs up. Ring that bell so I can inform you next time I do these things. Anyways, it's been fun today. I really enjoyed it. It's nice and relaxed little shave. Uh, try that lemon zest thing if you want to try it. Feels good. I like it. Take care, guys. God bless you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe. This is Alex. God bless America. God bless all of you. Alex, I'm out.